The woman filmed throwing rat poison at Nelson MP Nick Smith has been identified as Rose Renton, the woman who fought for changes to medicinal cannabis rules after the death of her son Alex. Dr Smith has complained to the police after he had what he says was rat poison rubbed into his clothes and face and threats were made against his family during his regular public meetings next to the Nelson market. The incident on Saturday coincided with the start of an aerial drop in a Nelson wildlife sanctuary of poison after the Brook Valley, Valley Community Group lost several legal bids to stop it. Ms Renton explained to our Nelson reporter Tracy Neal why she threw the rat poison. Um, it was a symbolic gesture to show Nick Smith exactly how it felt for the Brook Valley residents to have 26 and a half ton of brodificum dropped without safety measures on the loading site, without 48 hours required notice to the surrounding community and without signs until I think the third load went up. So they felt violated. Uh, so the best message for me to convey was exactly how that felt for them. And that was why I did what I did with my husband, Guy. We didn't go near his caravan. I didn't go in it. I rubbed the poison on the front step of the caravan and I rubbed it on the table and we wiped his lapels on his jacket. And there's no democracy in this country anymore. So unless you do something reckless, as the media will no doubt convey me as, um, you just don't get heard. And people are sick of being ignored. Rose, do you think it's more to do with the fact that people feel disempowered by the change in the law that created the pathway for this drop. Do you think it's more to do with that or is it really linked to the, to the substance that's been dropped? I don't think poison is ever an option and it's too late now because it's been dropped. The people weren't respected or listened to and my gesture gave an example of how those people felt. Have the police spoken to you? No. Do you expect they will? I'm sure they'll look at the video. Does it concern you that you could be charged? Not in any way, because I mean what I did. I don't regret what I did. Rose Renton says it was a direct message of passion and anger and there was no threat to anyone's safety. Dr Smith and the volunteers helping him on Saturday said it was an upsetting incident.